In this video, we're going to talk about chaining methods. Now, if we take a look at this code here that I have in the comments section, you can see here we're using the CSS method, which we talked about in the last few videos, and the fadeout method. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm gonna introduce that in this video as well. But what we're really interested in is chaining methods. And if you take a look at this code here, you'll notice that we're using the same selector. So does it really make sense to type these three lines out when we can just chain all of the methods, these methods right here, off of our one selector? That's what we can do. Now, you can do it this way. If you prefer this way, you like this way, it makes sense to you, you can certainly write them out individually. But you can also chain them back to back to back. And so that's what we're going to do in this lecture. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and copy this first line. And we're going to put this right here. And instead of using a semicolon now, because this is all gonna be part of the same line, we just use a dot, because we're gonna be, again, chaining all of the methods off of our object, our selector object right here. So let's go ahead and grab this second method, and we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. And then we'll grab this third one here. Now we need the semicolon to end the line, so we'll copy that this time. And we'll go ahead and Whoops, we got an extra dot there. So again, this line of code does exactly what this does. They are the same thing. The only difference is it's a little bit easier to write out because we only have to write this selector one time. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and run this in Chrome. And actually let's go ahead and minimize this so we can have both of these lined up against each other. And we'll hit this button a second. Now this fade out method will actually fade out this entire div because of course we're selecting this first div with this pound left. So that's what this fade out does. It basically just fades out whatever you wanna fade out. In this case, we're fading out the div. You could also fade out the text. You could fade out any element that you want to fade out. And this is milliseconds. So if you increase this number, let's say you made this 50,000 milliseconds, this would fade out slower. So that's what this value does. So let's go ahead and hit this. And there you can see it faded out. And if you notice, the color actually did change to red and the border changed to blue. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and we'll do it one more time. So keep an eye on the text, keep an eye on the border. And there you can see it did everything we wanted. So again, that is what chaining methods is all about. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.